Hi. Hi, and welcome. I'm Cindy Harrison, and I'm not showing up on the right screen, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, and I am a decorative painter, and I have been teaching decorative arts for over 20 years. I have been published in magazines in the U.S. and in Asia. I've been teaching at the conventions, and I just recently returned from the convention in San Diego, the 44th annual SDP, which stands for Society of Decorative Painters Convention. Um, and my co-host today is Melissa Reyes. Hi, I'm Melissa Reyes. I'm a mandala artist from Southern California, and I'm here to learn and to uh, share what I know with Cindy. So I'm really happy to be here. She's an excellent teacher, and I can't wait to see what we're going to do today. So today we're going to be, and thank you, by the way, for Donnie, who's here, and Dolores, who's here, and mm -hmm. anyone who's watching um, today and on the replay. And what we're going to be doing today is just a quick little project, and a lot of my projects lately have been those that we could use for craft fairs, things like that. But I do do more elaborate work, and we will work into that. Um, as, as Melissa's technique and, and style gets more involved. Today we're going back to our alcohol inks because they are a lot of fun to work with. I have different colors, purple twilight, stream, um, indigo, botanical, wild plum, and sunshine yellow. But pick whatever ones you want and group them in groups of two. I thought the pink and the purple together and then a blue and a, and a teal and a green and a yellow would be nice. That's how I, I group mine on my, on my surface. So this here is Tim Holtz Adirondack Alcohol Ink Card Stock. It has a glossy finish. I suspect you could use a photo paper, glossy photo paper. Um, but this is what I this is what I have here, and it goes along with the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. There are products all out by Ranger. You can find them at Michaels. So now I wanted to do something different. When we did our tiles, what two months ago almost now, yeah. we we kind of had we had the felt dauber, this felt dauber with the alcohol ink on it. And as you say, I didn't throw them away because when you pour more alcohol ink on it, it reactivates what's there. So I didn't throw those away, but I wanted to try a different technique. And what could we do that would be different? So I found a piece of bag, an old baggie that you get from the grocery store, right? And I just had a lid. that I got off like a Pringles can. Melissa likes Pringles. So, pour a little bit of your alcohol ink on your Pringles lid. And do it, like I said, I do about two colors on for the first set. Then you take your scrunchy bag and you dip it in your ink and you get all this fun funness here. Oh, funness. That's a new word. How many colors? Two colors? I did two colors. Now this is how I did the original. However, I wanted to try something different. I have this little mini mister and I put, filled it with alcohol, just rubbing alcohol. So I want to try and see what happens. I'm on a drafting table, so everything's at a little angle, so it's all just spilling together. <laughs> make a whole new color. Well, I was hoping something would happen and nothing's happening. Oh, oh no, what happened? <laughs> I'll find my glasses. So let's try. It's just a thought. I'm thinking alcohol ink. Why doesn't alcohol react to it, right? But it might not be the same kind of alcohol. I'll put 
Okay, slide down. Oh, there's more now. Down some glossy paper. Yeah. You know that old thing that you think you're going to use a ton of when you get one of those camera photo printers. So uh -huh. that is, I'm going to save it like I save everything. So here's your paper. So you didn't have that baggie, but can I use a sponge? One of the sponges you gave me? Yeah. So your mister didn't work? The, well, it's not the mister, it is the alcohol. So obviously it doesn't, um, it did lighten it up, but it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So I found this product, again, in the Tim Holtz section of the scrapbooking uh, at Michael's, alcohol blending solution. So I am going to play with that today and see what happens there. Now it's put out by the same company sitting right next to the alcohol ink, so it better do something. <laughs> Maybe it's the photo paper. I think, I think everything you do is beautiful. You can't mess it up. Look at that. It's so hot and dry in here that as soon as I pour this in here, it evaporates. Yeah, that happens. And it's getting all over me. Look at that, though. How neat that is. That does look neat. Kind of different. So. And the whole thing is, is with alcohol ink, you can just keep reapplying it and it keeps, it keeps changing it every which way. So let me get rid of that, put that one aside, and can wipe it right off. It's really neat. Oh, so cool. Okay, now take another sheet. What did I do? I did yellow and green. I'm going to do these two colors. I'm going to put uh, stream and indigo together. I love how when you use the uh, felt and it had alcohol ink on it from before and it dried up and when you add, add the new color, it activates the old color. It does, yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. Now. With this one. Uh, and Donnie, are you doing it too? No, I didn't. Uh, I, I, I didn't have the materials listed, so I'm just watching the two of you go and have fun. <laughs> so let's pick up some. On the um, invite on Facebook. We're gonna have Donnie do some encaustics. I've never played I with those. I could do that. I was talking to RJ um, Redden about that because I think she would be, she would have a good time with it. Yeah. And uh, she agreed with me, but she's in the same position I am. <laughs> There's uh, no money for extras right this minute. So right. Right. we're going to, we're, we're, we've made a pact. We're going to help each other out. That's what we do on, on this. I mean, yesterday. Say it again. My husband was laid off yesterday. Your husband was? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, he was with the company for a really long time, so he'll have some time to regroup. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's still kind of a... Oh, cool. This is like... I'm, I'm loving those colors, Cindy. Those are beautiful. Look at, look at it dripping, Donnie. It reminds me uh, of your encaustics. Yeah. So how, oh, you missed it? I'm uh, missing it with the... Um, the blending. The blending. Oh, I love how that's looking. Oh, so the straight alcohol didn't work. Oh, well, not really. I think it's a different kind of alcohol. <laughs> if oh. that's such a thing. If that's such a thing. So if I put it on here. Oh, yes. Yes. See it happening? Starting to... I ran out because I didn't put much in there, but. <laughs> Everything is sliding. 
I know that they do paintings with this that they actually can. So say I, no, getting that everywhere. If I took a brush, brush and I'm not supposed to be doing this in this project, but I just want to see what would happen if I did. Experimentation, that's what it's all about. So you can have like a water scene. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Put your right foot in. Your right art in and your right art out. Right, art in and Shake it all about, yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Like, that is gorgeous. But it's gonna be all blown away in a second. Okay. What I did was. I dribbled a little of my alcohol on here, and it kind of smeared it around, but. Sure. I I found this art frame for like 50% off because everyone likes a good deal. Mm -hmm. So I found this art frame at Michael's and it has a flat surface. It's not a beveled surface like some of the other ones. So I thought this would be really cool for what I wanted to do today. And that would be to take my I know. I feel like a chicken with my head cut off. To take my art, um, speak, Cindy, the photo paper, and decorate this because it's so plain. Mm -hmm. So what I did was measured the distance of the width. And if you don't have a ruler and you, and you don't know how to measure that, here's a shortcut. Say, my free, my free meeting will end in 10 minutes. Please upgrade to a paid account. Yeah, up at the top I've got remaining meeting time, nine minutes and 39 seconds. So what am I doing? <laughs> So basically I taped this to the corner and I turned it over and I drew a line so that when I cut it, it was the exact corner. And I cut them all that same, um, same size. So I created these corners and then I, took the other paper and cut those into squares as well so that I could place them every other one. I feel like Martha Stewart. And what I'm going to do is glue them on the backing. Oops. And so are you using like hot glue or, or uh, what's your, what's your medium on that? I have, well, I hadn't done it yet, but I was thinking I could try E6000. I wouldn't use hot glue. Uh, something soft that takes a little longer to set up, uh, like an E6000 okay. or um, even an adhesive, a permanent adhesive tape. But I'm going to leave a little bit of a distance between them. And I just thought that that would make, I mean, something different, and you can find inexpensive frames at yard sales and Goodwill stores and stuff like that. And if you did something like that, people would think, oh my God, you're amazing. And they could even sell them at the craft fairs. And then you could put some piece of artwork in there. So how does that sound? Sounds really good. Um, Oh, there we are. Nobody took them there right there. <laughs> they make that sound. So do okay. I do I upgrade my account so we don't get shut off? 
No, no. If you upgrade your account, they're asking for you to pay for a Zoom account, and I don't know what it is a month. Fourteen ninety nine. Okay. How do you feel about that? I don't know. Yeah, that would be up to you. That would be up to you, Cindy. So you could stop. You have how much time left? Seven minutes. Seven minutes? All right. Well, so um, I get the idea. We're going to glue these little squares on around the frame, and then they're pretty much done, right? Do you make a pause it when it's finished? Um, I, I wouldn't at this time because I'm not sure how the decoupage will take on top of the surface, but I was thinking if I did anything, I would put uh, either glossy accents or triple thick, something that's shiny as well. And, and if we do the glossy accents, um, we might just be able to set the squares into the glossy accents because it is uh, like an adhesive as well. And then it would make it glossy all around. I thought it would be pretty neat. But anyways, that's, you know, what do you think? I don't know. I like it. I think it's gorgeous. That's my, my first, my first thought is, is it's beautiful. Um, you are, um, I love the way that, the way that your mind thinks. I never would have come up with something like that. And it's perfect. Um, I, I, I can see a lot of applications for what I do. Yes. Um, in and because what I would do is I would I would I would make the, I would do that frame and I would put an encaustic piece yeah. in that frame and it would be perfect. Ooh, right. That's what I was thinking too. That's what I was thinking. If I had one of Donnie's pieces here, it'd be awesome. Um, tell you what, go ahead and glue that up. Is that purple and it's purple and pink and yellow and green? That one is too. I want to see what it will look like with this with this on it. The blue, the blue in, in aqua. And then there was blue and aqua. So if I do this, okay. see how that changes? I wanted to tell you something, Cindy. What I did was I, um, I put a little alcohol ink, like just dropped it right on to the paper. Yeah. yeah. It started to drip and then I added the alcohol Oh, oh, look at that. Thinned it out. So it kind of made drips on it. It came out kind of neat. See, the, see how that changes the look? Yes. So, now, so what you're saying is now i got to make another one to um, put in between, right? Well, we can yeah, use so you. You can so you can you can do the same just the same colors or mix uh, alternating colors. That would be neat. Look at that. Yeah. It really looks like a mosaic. Yes. So cool. Mine looks like kindergarten. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Cindy, what what size frame is that? What size picture goes in there? Uh, four by six. Perfect. Mine's also four by six. And, but mine is the dreaded beveled. Actually, just the sides have a little beveling, just a little bit, but the bottoms are flat. Mm -hmm. So these two are flat. But I'm going to just do it anyway, because that is what I have. And we've had a, you know, a lot of discussions about just, you know, use what you have. It doesn't have to be, you know. Nope, doesn't have to. These happened to be new and my boss gave them to me, but, and I have old frames that I was thinking of digging out because I saved everything, like I said, but I thought it would be fun to play with this. I might paint some first. Well, the other thing I thought about doing is taking these inchies, what they call inchies, and putting them on a, um, a journal. journal cover, but doing it diagonally. Maybe painting it, maybe painting it black. I think I would paint it black and then do them on a diagonal. Obviously, I need more, but do that down the journal and cover the whole thing or a box lid. Anything is possible. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to put this on the side and start working on another one so I have some alternating color. 
I have light glare, but that's okay. It's pretty cool. I actually like that. I like the blue. I like how the how the blue one bled like that. It's pretty cool. I didn't have the glare from the lights. It'd be awesome. You know, I'm having problems with my light right now too. Like I felt the lights at me, but I still feel like I'm in the dark. Then I thought I'd save all my uh, scraps because you never know what you're gonna do when you make cards. I wonder where Dolores went. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just watching. Oh, okay. I'm like, I can't see you. I see the ceiling. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I just see your ceiling. I don't see your face. So, see, here's a, here's a box lid. And I thought we could do. Obviously, you have to figure out the width of your, the width of your um, box lid to know how many inches you're going to need. So what happens when you run out of time? Do they cut you off? I guess we'll find out. We'll find out, aren't we? <laughs> Just in case, you should say uh, thank you so much for being here on the Painless Heart. <laughs> Then. Thank you for joining us on Paint with Heart. No, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Come again. No. And always paint with heart. <laughs> so are we is is this going to be the new time? No. This is the summertime. This is the summertime. Okay. 